Okay, so we're going to start the 421, and uh, first thing we want to do is get all the levers forward. We're going to make sure the mags are on. We're going to take the throttles forward, so we have throttle, props, mixtures all the way forward. Now... We're going to start the left engine first. It doesn't make any difference if you start the left or right. So if it's the summer and you've got an air conditioner over there, yes, you can start the right engine and uh, turn on the air conditioning system. But we're going to start the right. Now, the key to starting a 421 is you have to start it at an idle or as close to an idle as you can get. And we start ours at an idle. And the reason you started at an idle is because of the 90-inch props. Macaulay is very clear. The reason that these props are having so much problems on the 421 is people are starting them with a high RPM, and they're banging the pins that keep the prop in place on shutdown. So what we want to do is we want to start it at an idle. Now, we have a way we start as far as how we set up our, our fingers. So we're going to prime the engine by holding the primer, the green knob, the uh, primer knob over uh, for a count of five to start out. If it's very, very cold, we may go to seven or eight, or we may split the prime five, and then maybe if it doesn't start, which ours will, then we'll go add four, three to four more. But we're going to try five today. We've got a 60 degree temperature, but here's the catch. We're going to have on the left engine, we're going to have a finger on the start button and our thumb's going to be on the primer. Why? These big engines use a lot of air and they'll stumble. And the way to keep them running on a stumble is to use that thumb for bump, bump after it's running. Bump, bump. Okay, it stumbled a little bit again. Bump, bump. And then eventually it'll come up. So let's try that procedure. I'm going to use the left, the finger for the start button, and my thumb for the primer, and that's going to be on the left engine. On the right engine, we're going to reverse it. Thumb will be your start, finger will be your prime. So let's get everything forward. Let's get our battery on. We've already checked our voltage by putting our selector knob on the electrical panel to volt. We looked at 24 volts. That's critical. Then we turned it off. By the way, we're going to leave our, our alternators off, and that's a procedure we talk about in class. You can either leave them on and start them or leave them off, and I'll tell you that's a some do, some don't, we don't, but we also keep our engines at a very low idle when we turn our alternators on. We cover the electrical in class. So let's see what we can do. So I'm going to turn my battery on. I have my mags on. And I'm going to hold the primer over on the left engine to a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to bring the throttle all the way back, all the way back, and start this engine at an idle. But we're going to be ready with our thumb to bump the primer. So here we go. We're going to start the airplane. It hit. I'm going to use the primer button to keep it going. Primer button, primer button. And then she'll eventually come up to speed. You hear that smoothness, you're set. Those are air impression engines. 421s are a little tougher to start than your straight shaft 520s. They take about six or seven rotations. The key is in the primer and to watch for the stumbling. Now let's go to the right. We're going to be forward on the throttle. We're going to hold the primer over with our finger. And we're going to pull the throttle all the way back. We're starting with our thumb now. And our finger's ready for the stumble. So we've got our mags on. We're watching the prop. All of these engines have what's called a soft start. Because they're starting on the left mag. When you get off of the starter button, both mags kick in. That's why we watch the prop for start. So we're at an idle. I'm punching the button. There's the hit. I'm going to stumble it one time on the primer, and it's up. These are air impressions engines starting at an idle. If your engines don't start like that, you need to get them set up because you're going to wear out the starters, 
you're going to hurt these engines. And by the way, we're going to check the oil immediately. Both of these came up, and we're going to get both alternators on. We're going to verify the dum dum lights are out, and then we're going to go down and look at the volts. Look at the volts, and we should be 27.3, 27.6, or you may be 27.1. Remember, the 421s have a little bit lower voltage output than uh, the straight shafts. So that's the way we start our 421. 